What's up, my true Sag gang? It's your girl, Didi the True Sag, and I'm back with another video. If you are doing so you like this video, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, and comment down below what you would like to see from your girl. Also, if you're new and you're wondering what is the name that I called you at the beginning of my intro, that is the name that I chose to introduce you guys as because I don't want to call y'all YouTube. I feel like y'all are more than that to me. Y'all are my family. So if you like that name, go on ahead and comment down below. Also, if you are not new, welcome back New Year's Bangers Day. 20. I had a look at the day. Make sure. Now, I know I missed day 19. Y'all got to understand. I told y'all about them stitches. Like, y'all, I was in a excruciated pain yesterday. So, I cannot post. So, y'all know how y'all girl do. Not let y'all down. Hold on. Okay. So, like I was saying, you know how you guys, your girl did not let y'all down. So, I will be posting two videos today. So, we still go to say New Year's Beggar Day 20, period. And then you'll get the New Year's Beggar Day 20 again later on. It's going to be a more um, serious video because I feel like we all need to know what's going on. So, don't worry. We're going to get there. So, with that being said, uh, we are going to continue with the 18th video because I know y'all like Didi. Dee Dee. They put you in the hallway. What happened? Don't worry. I got you. I got y'all because so much that happened since then. So, get your snacks. Get your drinks. Get your heavily medicated stuff. If that's what you want to do, a little pup pup pat. Get what you're going to get. And let's get into this video. Whew. Whew. Now, my job, I'm very, very tired. I stayed up very late. So beware with me. But I got up and I was like, it is one. What about 144 right about now? PM. So I got up and I did some exercise this morning with physical therapy. Um, I did a couple of more things, talked to my doctor and, you know, do the normal things in the morning, lab works and all this other stuff. So I was like, I got to get a video out for my babies. Okay. Period. So let me make sure we got the right angle to be talking. I did ask the lady for snacks. She didn't bring my snacks. So I don't know. You know, I asked her, I'm like, can I have some crackers, some jello, some cranberry? And she didn't bring it. I'm pushing the button. Hello. I need my snacks so I can hang out with my babies. Anyways, um, I got like a little bit of cranberry juice in here. Look, it's a little bit. But whatever. We're going to get into this period. Don't worry about it. All right, so we in the hallway G. Now, I got into hallway G. Now, if you are new and you don't know what I'm talking about, please go on ahead and stop this video. It will be here, promise. It will be here. Stop this video. Go and watch the New Year's Banger Day 18. That was two days ago. Go watch that video, and then you'll understand where we left off. Okay, boom. So, I'm in hallway G. And it's right by the nurse's station. It's in a hallway. It's a line against the wall. And I'm in the gurney. So, that was about... I'm going to try to do this. <sighs> Without yawning, y'all. And my medication, too. It makes me drowsy. It's just all bad. Anyways, um... 
I'm in hallway G. I hate this eye. This is the eye I can't see out of. So, I can't know if I have sleep in there or not. Even though I washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all that. I just want to make sure I don't have nothing in my eye. Anyways. Um, so, as I'm in the hallway at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm like, finally, I'm going to give me some sleep. Because I'm in a bed out of a wheelchair. Let's get it. Let's go. So your girl was like, um, tired, exhausted, got her some rest. Then it became about 1250. The doctor finally came to see me. He told me he wants to give me a medic. I mean, I was already a minute. He was telling me he wants to get me to a facility, a rehab or nursing facility. Then a case manager came, I said about two hours later, which was about two, I said about 2.50. Um, she came. And this... Um, it was, you know, it was a little crazy because you are hearing everything, like people come in and everything because you don't have that privacy. So I end up having another accident in the gurney where I had to go get changed in another room. Now, this is what got me. You pulled my bed into another room, a private room, so I could get changed, but you wouldn't keep me in the private room. confused so I say about from 8 to 9 30 p.m. the this is Monday the um, a nurse charge nurse comes nurse leadership and she's like hey I heard that you fell in our restroom, I wanted to know, are you okay? I'm like, my right leg hurts and my right elbow hurts. She's like, did they do x-rays? I was like, no. She was like, they didn't do x-rays. I'm not understanding. I was like, well, they didn't do x-rays. So she was like, I'm going to talk to your doctor. And I can't get you upstairs. It's booked, but I can get you in another room. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. She's like, so you can have some privacy. All right, period. So by 10 o'clock, it took her about an hour, not her, about an hour. Um, they wanted to clean the room first and they have this machine, y'all, that kind of sterilizes and blows fumes and like kills all the germs. It's a big machine out the room. So it's non-toxic fumes um you keep the door closed and you're able to go back in there i believe within five minutes after it's done so about 10 p.m i was in that room i was so happy and then they wanted to do the x-ray So the x-ray showed that it was some complications with my right leg, but my leg is not broken. So I was nervous. Of course, who, you know, comment down below, would you be nervous if a doctor told you like, hey, you know, the x-ray shows something else. So I want to do a CAT scan is what he exactly said to me. And I'm like, fine, that's, you know, let me tell you, first of all, before I get all the way into this, I just want to say this doctor that I'm working with, he has been tremendously great. Hold on. Hold on. No problem. No, no. 
<laughs> gotcha. Sorry, you guys, for her privacy and my privacy. I can't show who that was. So, y'all, please, you know, forgive me. I only show them when they want to be shown. If they don't want to be shown, I don't show them. And I believe she's a student, so I can't show her anyway. So, please forgive us for that. Um, yeah, so... I do the cat scan. And I hear nothing. Oh, hold on, y'all. It is stinking. I'm trying to make sure I took my pill, y'all. I think my pill I fell off, but. I can't find it, so I think I took it. Because when I go to the bathroom, I'm sure going to be looking to make sure I took it. Because I think I did, though. I'm going to know, like, about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to know how I'm supposed to feel. It was a little, little blue pill. Anyways, um, hold on. Hey y'all, uh, got me a little cranberry. She said when they done stocking, they're stocking them down. So when they done stocking them, she's gonna bring another one or a couple of more. But she did put bring me a little cup. I'm slow. That's why she brought me. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever at this point. You girls a little out of it. I can't put the thing on top of there. Your girl's a little out. <laughs> okay. They got some paper straws. Y'all, I have never seen a straw like this. Look at this straw. When they gave it to her, I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> but she did bring me some sartines. I asked for Jello too, but they didn't have them. So we just go snack on a little for cheese. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. She came back in and brought, hold on, the cranberry. Oh, let me reach it. Got it. Got the cranberry. She brought another one. And she is so sweet. She's just working, working, working. What a what a what a what a chicken like what a chicken with a <laughs> y'all my words chicken with a head cut off um while no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this after I'm done okay so I don't get distracted come on Didi come on Didi get it back together get it back together tell me y'all in the comment section say Didi concentrate mmm Oh, y'all, like, my whole body got, like, instantly just bob. Okay. Let's keep going. I didn't hear nothing about the cast scan. So, I ended up staying the night there, going to sleep in that room. Mmm. All right. So... The next day comes. Physical therapy, get me up. And we go to the restroom with the little Sarah Steady thing. Um, I say about 
about 3 o'clock, 2.50, the doctor comes in. He said the cash scan shows that it's uh, bruising, but it's not broke. Now, this is Tuesday. 2.50 p.m. I go, okay. He goes, but I want to do more testing. I'm going to get your room upstairs. Whatever. Y'all, why would I sit in that bed chilling? And at 3.30... My nurse come in and say, we got a room for you upstairs. Yeah, I was like, who, man? <laughs> Diddy, you got her room. Diddy, upstairs. She was like, yes, ma'am. So now, mind you, I got my stuff charged up. I'm chilling. Never thought it would be that fast. So, I'm like, when do I go upstairs? She was like, right now, I'm taking you. I'm like, oh, okay. Want to, you know, take your girl up there if you want to. So I'm excited. I'm going upstairs. I'm getting the room upstairs. Everything's good. Until it wasn't. <laughs> The first night upstairs was good. But well, mind you, today is Thursday the 20th. So here we go to Wednesday, which was yesterday. I woke up with my leg in excruciating pain from these stitches. Excruciating. The doctor comes in. I hate when they give you <laughs> crushed up crackers. That's it. You know, crushed up crackers. For what? Anyways, I tell him, like, hey, I done had two accidents since I've been up here. I'm not feeling well. I go to the restroom. It's just coming. Everything. I hope y'all enjoy y'all snacks like I am enjoying mine. <clears throat> Since I'm done. I went in a little bit of snack. My lunch is supposed to come actually right now. Yesterday it took an hour and a half. Late. So. Boom. The doctor come and he said. The CAT scan shows that it may be a reason why you're incontinence and falling. He says, I want to do an MRI on your back. I'm like, okay. 
That's no problem. He says to see if we might have to do surgery. Well, surgery, where did that come from? I, you say, I mean, you said bruising. You said all this stuff. Where is surgery at? So, y'all. I t- call my mom, who's a nurse, and I'm like, look. This man talking some big language that I don't understand because he did explain it to me after I asked. And I was just like, I don't understand. And he's like, duh, duh, duh. And he explained it to me. I'm like, so my mom's like, I talked to him when, you know, he comes back in. Excuse me. So, I'm like, okay. So, the day started going okay. Until it was about 5 p.m. And I was in excruciating pain because they had to change my bandage. And... When I pressed the button to be changed, like my bandage for my uh, stitches, I was screaming so bad, y'all. Like, I have never felt this pain. And that's why I was so shocked when he said surgery. I'm like, bro, they didn't tell you how I act with these stitches. I never had this done. And you're talking about surgery, and I have no support at all. So... I pushed the car button because I wanted her to tra- my nurse to change my bandages and the CNA to help me to the restroom. Twenty minutes go by, nobody comes. I press it again. Forty minutes now, nobody comes. I push it again. Another 30 minutes passed by, and I was like, you know what? At this point, I'm going to the restroom on my own. Y'all, I am limping all the way to the restroom. Limping. Badly. It was terrible. I made it. And then I ended up pulling the cord in the bathroom like, I need help. So they helped me back to my bed. And they were like, you almost fell. (sighs) So now I have something around my bed and me. (laughs) Around me, like literally, like a belt around me. To make sure that I can't get out the bed. So if I have an accident on myself, I just have to hold it or I can't feel what I got to go. So I just have to go and hope that somebody come in time to clean me up. Like, y'all, I'm beyond irritated at this point because I ain't just turned 33. It's like, come on, bro. I do not want to be sitting in this bed using the restroom by myself and y'all are extremely busy so I have to sit here and no no ain't popping no so at this point we're waiting for me to do the MRI to find out what's basically wrong and then we're going to see if I have to have surgery. So with that being said, I hope y'all keep me in your prayers. Um, I'm about to go to the restroom now to, you know, get myself together before I have therapy again. I love you guys so much. 
I appreciate all the nice comments. I got pretty good comments. And I love them. And I appreciate every last person that comment. I'm doing this for y'all because I love y'all so much. And we got 29 people. <laughs> and that's up here. And I hope this video was not too short. I just wanted to finish this up. I will have a, a more important video later on. And I love you guys. So by, with that being said, it's the end of the video. So make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell. Don't forget, I'm one of the only ones that tell you. When you press that notification bell right there, make sure you go inside and select all. Because it doesn't automatically do that for you. So you have to press the notification bell. You have to go inside, select all. And that way you won't miss my live, my shorts, my mug bangs, my challenges, my vlogs. Anything that I choose to do, you will not miss. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media. It's down in the description down below. And please, they're trying to send me to a facility that does not take my Medicaid. And I need help with my bills. So please, share that. Go find me in my description to help me. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.